Well, we've had weeks honoring teachers and nurses, and now we honor all of the EMS workers who have been so vital during this pandemic. Joining us to talk about that is William Schnepp, a paramedic at Hartford HealthCare's Wyndham Hospital. Welcome, William. Thank you for having me. All right, so tell us, what have the last two months been like for you and your coworkers on the front lines? I would say the last two months has been very busy. We've all been working very hard to meet the needs of not only patients who normally call 911 or who have medical problems pre-COVID, but also patients who are concerned that they might have coronavirus. Tell us about how your job has changed since COVID has come into our lives. Since coronavirus, we've all been much more careful to make sure we can wear a PPE in patients' homes when they might have coronavirus. Anyone who has a fever, who's coughing, or who's shortness of breath, all EMS providers, firefighters, um, police officers, we all have to don special equipment to make sure that we don't expose ourselves to patients who potentially may have coronavirus. All right, let's talk about the importance of peer support during this time. How have you guys been doing? Um, it's been good. I'm lucky to say that I work at a hospital where the doctors, nurses, techs, um, allied health support, firefighters, police officers, we've all been there for each other to make sure that we can all work through this safely and effectively um, so that patients can get the care they need both in the field and at our hospital. That's true because you guys are in the field and then you bring them to the hospital. All right, let's talk about measures you're taking to protect yourself and your patients that you transport. You guys must go through a lot of PPE. There's so much PPE. Um, the first thing that we'll do is we put on a surgical mask on all of the patients that we have to make sure that they don't get anything from us in case we don't have any symptoms. And then also patients will see us wearing a full gown, goggles, face mask, sometimes the N95 mask if we're doing any special procedures. And what type of procedures would those be where you'd need to use those N95 masks? Anytime that a patient is having their breathing supported by us, whether it's by a machine or by um, a breathing device called the bag valve mask, a nebulizer treatment, this creates aerosolized particles that can sometimes spread infection. So anytime we do that, we always make sure we're wearing that N95. Very good. All right, tell us about the importance of the connection paramedics like yourself has a hospital and healthcare system, the connection that the healthcare system has with you. My system is unique. Our paramedics respond from the emergency department out to the field. We cover almost 400 square miles as paramedics. We retrieve patients from their homes. We bring them right back to the emergency department. We're actually experiencing our 25th anniversary coming up this month. Um, so we're very proud to say that for the last 25 years, we've been serving the community. Um, our job is to make sure that the patients get what they need and that we advocate for them once they arrive in the emergency department. Okay, and finally, I like to ask people about support from the community. We've heard of gift cards and foods and hearts in the windows. Do you see uh, a lot of love from the community, and how does that inspire you? Oh, it's wonderful. On my drive to work and when I go to calls, I see signs and windows. I see big hearts. Um, I know that people try to put red ribbons around trees, and then almost every single day at work, we have someone anonymously dropping off food. Um, and it's a different person every day, and they never seem to want to say who it's from, but it's almost as though we don't have to bring our own dinner over the last few weeks. So it has been truly wonderful to see how much the community supports our hospital. That gives me goosebumps just to hear. That is so nice, and yet they don't even want recognition. They just want to Not keep, at all. keep you guys fed and happy and doing what you're doing. All right, William Schnepp, thank you so much from Wyndham Hospital. We appreciate it. Stay safe on Thanks the Thanks for having lines. me. Thank you. We appreciate it.